Hey guys, it's Yvette. Hi, how you doing? Um, I am opening a new box today. Surprise, surprise. Um, and Jelly Bean has just gotten his first fan mail, so that was really cool. Um, hopefully you guys will see that video. Um, but what I'm opening is the Summer Bloom Box by Bloomery Fabrics. Um, and it is my first time getting it. It comes in this beautiful box. And the box comes um, in just a USPS bubble wrap so that it doesn't get damaged and you know there's no addresses or anything anywhere on the actual box. So you can keep this pretty little box and do whatever you'd like with it. Um, now the difference between the Bloomery box and others is that it's not a surprise. You know everything that you're getting in the box except I think maybe one bonus item. Um, the cost of the box is $47.95. The value of the things in the box, I think they said it was like $60. Um, so you are getting a little more value um, than you would if you had just, you know, um, purchased off the shelf, so to speak. Um, yeah, so let's open the box. Um, oh, the other thing is that you get to pick your colorway. So I, I think I picked the teal one. It was, you know me, it's a toss up. I love pink. But there was something about the way the teal fabric looked, and I think I went with that one, but to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> so let's get it open. You'd swear I didn't know what in the heck was coming, but I did. Um, okay, so when you open it up, you've got this blue glittery uh, tissue inside. Very pretty. I'm going to open it up. Okay, and since I already know, I'm just gonna read on here. It's the bloom box, and it says summer bloom box. Um, it says your bloom box is here, hooray! Let's take a look at what's inside. Um, okay, so for number one, Moda Color Cuts Dessert Roll. You get 12 five inch by 44 inch strips. Um, number two, the Gypsy Quilter Thread Peels. Number three, uh, the Ulfa Splash Rotary Cutter in Fairy Floss Pink, which I really needed because I gave it away in my very first giveaway. <laughs> um, number four, Clover Sew for Fun, I Sew for Fun Marking Pen. It's water erasable. Number five, uh, Sewing Themed Washi Tapes. There are two. Number six, two inch six point diamond paper pieces for English paper piecing. Um, there are 75 of those. I don't really English paper piece, but anyway. Um, and then number seven and number eight, cute wooden buttons and a fun pencil. Okay, so let's pull it all out. Um, here are the spool hung huggers. Um, they're called peels. And I know we've all seen them, so there they are. And I've got a whole variety of colors. Um, if you guys haven't seen them, for those of you who are new quilters, um, they look like this. And they are like round. It's so hard to show. Okay, there you go. And you can... Um, take your spool of thread and wherever your spool now I this is a um, what what is this sulky and I put it if you can see right here I wrap it in the the little thing and then the end of it is sticking out if you don't want to do that or if you don't have um, the ability to do that I don't know maybe the thread you're using doesn't have that you can always take this wherever the um, thread ends and wrap it around well I guess you need like to have more thread left on your thing. Hold on, let me get a bigger uh, spool of thread. I probably am mostly finished with that one. Okay, here we go. Here's a big ore fill. <laughs> big ore fill. Oh, look, and I don't even have it properly tied up. Because with the ore fill, I don't know if you guys know, but you have to pull the whole bottom off like this, or at least pull it up a little bit, and then stick it underneath, and then push it closed. I don't like doing that. I don't know. It's just a pain in the butt. Um, so these are really great. You can take it, wrap it right around um, where the end of the thread is, and bada boom, bada bing, it holds it all nice and neat. So that's how you use um, the little peels. Um, the next thing um, is the paper pieces 
the two inch six point diamond pieces. Um, and that's what they look like on the back. Is that really six point? One, two, three, four. I don't get it. <laughs> that's me. I'm like, I don't get it. Oh, are they hexies? That's not a hexie. Okay, so I see, I mean, I know which one they're using. They have this one that's down on the bottom, but that's not six points, that's four points. Right? I mean, am I, maybe I can't count. If I'm looking at that, there are four points. Okay, I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna go on for like 12 hours talking about how many freaking points there are on here, but that one looks like six points to me. Okay, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. It says six points. I, okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. <laughs> that's that. Um, the next thing is the ISO for Fun fabric marking pen. And it is, is this the one where it says water erasable. So it's a marking pen and it's water erasable. Okay. I'm assuming it's blue I'm, because it, you know, the pen is blue. So blue marking pen. Um, and then we have a couple of rolls of washi tape. And, you know, they said in their letter here that they use them to mark stitch lines on their projects, sewing lines on their machines. And, yeah, I mean, you could do that. I've never actually used them that way, um, but these are really cute, guys. Look, this one is, um, it's got scissors. Can you see that? I wonder if I have to, if I can start it. Then maybe if I pull it away from the back, you'll be able to see the scissors better. You guys, I chewed off every single fingernail this weekend. I don't know why. I'm not like feeling over, like, or excessively stressed or stressed in any way different than any other day. Okay, this one is not one to come off. This is crazy washi tape here. Okay, it's finally coming. Here it goes. So can you see that better now? There you go. Now you can see them. That's cute. I like those. That's really cute. Okay, that's one little piece. And then, oops, let me put it here. And then here's the other one. It's got like a sewing machine and um, notions. Let's which way is up. Okay, that's the way up. So you see on that one, it's got I don't know, like, different things you can sew, too, I guess, because that looks like a pair of shorts to me. I don't know. But then there's a sewing machine. And let's see. Is there more? I think that you we're kind of starting over. But that's really cute. So they're obviously sewing-themed um, washi tapes. Let's go put that there. And the next thing, here's the pencil that they sent. And the pencil says, bloom where you sew. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And it's pink! <laughs> and, um, okay, and here are... Are these buttons? Did they say buttons? <gasps> cute one buttons! You guys, buttons. I love buttons. I mean, I... I, I, I love the buttons so much that I can't even, like, bring myself to use them. I've got jars and jars of buttons. And I, not just any buttons, please guys, please don't start sending me like old buttons from like 1920. That's not the kind of buttons I like. Look, these are the kind of buttons I like. <laughs> well, some of these. Here's one that's a little apple. And I also, I don't like shank buttons. They're just, I, I don't understand putting on a button and it's not flat. Why would you want a button that's flapping all over the place? That's just me, but that's not, oh my goodness, guys. I'm just throwing things everywhere. A little kitty cat. Hello. <laughs> um, and then we have a little leaf. And we have a butterfly. And then 
these are cute, don't get me wrong, but they're kind of plain. But it says homemade, handmade with love. I actually like that, guys. I take it back. I like it. Can you see it even? It's not focusing. Is that better? Anyway, that, and there's three of those. So those are the buttons. I love them. Hold up, I dropped a button. Uh, oh my gosh. Don't get old, people. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna like fall over backwards trying to pick up buttons off the floor. JB, should I help mama out? What the heck, bud? You're younger. Yeah, you're like a little spring chicken compared to mom. You sure are. <laughs> okay, the next thing is my lovely pink rotary cutter, which I was gonna end up getting myself one. You know, like I said, I gave mine away um, in the giveaway, which was fine. I was very happy to do so. <laughs> Jelly bean. Um, but now I got one. <laughs> and the piece de restance. I know I'm saying that wrong. This is me trying to act like I really, I'm really French or something. It's the blue one that I got. I ended up getting, it's called beach glass. And there it is. And let me take it out of the plastic at least. Jelly bean. He's, he's trying to get in the box. Now he's knocking the camera over. Are you serious right now, baby? Oh, he's just going to stand in it. Jelly bean. Mommy loves you, baby. Yeah. My special boy. Yes, he's such a lover. Okay, watch. Mommy's going to open this. See? See there? Yeah. It's more fabric that Mommy has no idea where to put. <laughs> okay, I thought it would just come right open, but I guess it doesn't come right open. Um, let me just start on the other side there. Okay. Over there. And it's a dessert roll, which is um, 12 strips of five inch by 44. And it's all sorts of teals. Um, they call it beach glass. And you guys, I know that you want me to undo this. I just can't bring myself to do it. I just can't, guys. What if I go like really slow so you can see each line? Because there's only 12, so, okay, so there's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, that's pretty. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. You guys, I picked good. That was that. This is a good choice. I'm liking this a lot. The X's? Oh no, it's a different type. It was like teal with the white X, and then, but okay. I love it. I think it's really pretty. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, I just wanted to give it a go once. It's not a subscription. It's not something that keeps going. Um, they, If you sign up for their newsletter, and I think if... It, it may not even be their newsletter. I think if you go... Like, once they've sold out, basically, you can go and say, please let me know when the next Bloom Box is available. And then they'll send you an email and say, hey, you know, uh, the summer Bloom Box is ready or the fall Bloom Box is ready or whichever ones. It, I don't really know. I, this is the first I've even heard of them, to be honest with you. Um, and then they'll send you an email and let you know that if you'd like, you can go and purchase one for yourself. Um, so that's what I did. And I just did it this one time. And, you know, will I get the next one? And I don't know. I mean, if they're showing us everything that's inside, I can always see what the colorways are, what the notions are that they're including. Do I want that? Do I not want it? And um, more often than not the things that were coming in here were things that i wanted like i really wanted this i'll get that jb don't worry i really wanted this fabric um i really wanted the washi tape 
I really wanted the spool huggers, which I mean, all things you can get yourself. But like I said, once you like got through the whole thing, um, oh my goodness, like we weren't even told about the buttons and I love the buttons. Um, and really the other stuff, you know, if I think about it, like for me personally, even if I don't use all these things, um, you know, I'm always putting together boxes, giveaway boxes for my quilty people. And um, so I'll just put them in there. I mean, you got, give you guys something to try if you want to. <laughs> oh, my baby, my baby, my JB. <laughs> He's mommy's boy. He is mommy's boy for sure. Okay, guys, um, I actually do have one more thing to open, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. So stick around, and I'll be right back. Bye.